So, this is different. I'm going to predict the scheduling and the results of the Frankfurt Galaxy. I have never done this before in terms of this format. So we're going to see how it goes. This took me a while to put together and we're just going to get straight into it. No, uh, no faffing about. The schedules have been gradually just coming out from the ELF themselves of just who they're going to play with the bye weeks and the selection and the dates and stuff. So I just wanted to talk about it and kind of see where I think the Galaxy can wind up. Because they got a lot of hype around them. They really do. And they have the hardest schedule in Europe. That's an incredible schedule. And I I am worried about Frankfurt fans because, especially memes of VLF, because if they don't do well, then a lot's going to get called into question. But I mean, they've got a hell of a schedule. So let's just get straight into it. Week one, bye week, very unfortunate. The worst thing that I think can happen to a team. A few teams had it last year and it was pretty detrimental and all the players hate it as well. Week one bye weeks are terrible. And then week two, Ryan Fire. This is going to be the big one for me. Ryan Fire is at home as well. The Ryan Fire are an incredibly good team. There's a lot, been a lot of discussion recently about who has the best offensive line between the Galaxy and the Fire. It's the Fire. Like, I don't even see really why there's an argument. Galaxy's offensive line is really good. And they do have Steven Nielsen, who is probably the best offensive lineman in Europe. However... Ryan Fire just dotted all around the place. I think that Serge and Ryan are just the, the best two. So I think I'm going to have probably an L here. I'm going to put this just above so it's easier to see. Starting off 1-0, maybe not the idea that Frankfurt Galaxy fans wanted to see. But I think for me, it's kind of the, the reality. And then week two, they go away to Paris. And Paris have just signed uh, someone. I'll, I'll let you go and research that with self. But he's an incredible safety. Played the outside linebacker in the USFL. Played at USC. He's an excellent player. One of my favorite players in Europe. And I think that they, they might just go... It's, it's in Paris. This is what I'm thinking. They do have an... Overall, an, an amazing team, but I think I'm going to give the edge to Paris, given that it's in the city of Paris. So I'm going to put another L, just going to raise those two up a little bit, just so they're in line. Week three, Roclaw at home. Another really fucking hard game. Roclaw are looking like early title contenders. They have the, the better quarterback, I think, at the two of them, but then... You, you know, uh, they have Sandro Platzcomer who's also joined Frankfurt Galaxy. We'll see how he does in terms of his his, um, his injury rehab. Frankfurt do just have overall a very, very balanced team. They have some very good super picks like uh, Brandon Butler and the Sh uh, Schwann brothers. A very underwritten that receiver core. They have Nico Strahman who's an excellent complimentary German receiver. They've got a good offensive line and Rokel also have the same. <laughs> Rokel also have a very good team. But I think I'm going to give the edge to the Frankfurt Galaxy. This one was a tough one, but I gave the same reasoning of home games to them, so I think I'm going to do the same for them here. Another bye week going into it. One and two, maybe not the idea start for them, but could be a lot worse. And then they come in, fresh off the bye week at home to Hamburg. Hamburg have struggled this year. They do have some very good talent, but I think given Frankfurt's overwhelming abundance of talent I'm going to give them the win here I don't think it'll be that tough for them because they are at home they'll, they'll be fresh off a bye week and they'll be able to come out of this three game stretch pretty uh pretty war torn <laughs> but very experienced and I think that that could be quite an early having an early start could really either make or break Frankfurt this season but I'm going to give them the win against Hamburg Madrid we're going to knock off another W Madrid are very good. They do have the most of the Spanish talent. I think they are the best Spanish team by quite a considerable amount. However, Frankfurt Galaxy are title contenders and I don't see Madrid in the same light. Madrid do have a lot of talent throughout the roster. The running back's good with Dwayne Obi. They have a pretty solid offensive line built up the Spanish talent. But they've also got people like Conor Bolton and Robert Finch. They have... Chris Helbig, a quarterback who is an experienced player, who's very good at play action, and he can kind of dot around the ball. But I think that given the quality of Hamburg, I'm going to give them the win here. Cologne, 
This is going to be uh, Darren, the DB, the nickel DB. I'm kind of in the process of watching some tape on him at the moment. I put on Twitter his motor could power the sun. And I think that really does come in here. He's one of my favorite DBs I've been watching. Needs to clean up a lot of his technique. But it's just kind of an earlier insight into something I might be making soon. But Hamburg, Madrid, Cologne. I can see this being quite a comfortable three-game stretch considering the, this start. And it is also at home. Two of these are at home. They go on a away game. And then they go on a big away game streak here. Starting with Ryan. Away. I think everyone kind of knows where I'm going to go here. I think it's going to be another L. I think that Fire have too much for them. I think these games will be closer than last season. But I still think that Ryan. You know the the whole thing of Ryan owns, owns uh, Frankfurt. I know that's not exactly something that, the, that people want to hear if they're tuning into this video to watch Frankfurt content, but they do, and they have done. They're five and zero since the you know the reemergence of the two teams, the Phoenix clubs, and I think that going away to Rhine, they're going to be in a big stadium with a bunch of people, massive Rhine fan, fan base, and I think that. They're going to walk away. Juju and Clark and company are going to get the W. Following this loss, though, going into Hamburg. Another win. I can see them doing the double against Hamburg fairly comfortably. I don't see a way. Obviously, foot, every, any given Sunday in football and all the cliches and stuff like that. But I don't see a way that Frankfurt loses to Hamburg. They, Hamburg do have talent. But Frankfurt just have more in more. They've got Markel Castle, who was the best receiver in the league last year. Obviously the triple crown winner. And that receiver court overall is just very, very dominant. And then defensively, they've got a lot of guys coming in. Carlos Bruins being one of them. Sebastian Gunther is another. Mark Anthony Hoare, Louis A. Chain, and of course, Divine Buckram as well. Is just one of the, I think the people that I've talked to, a lot of them say Divine Buckram is the best DB in the league. And I will definitely do a video on him at some point. And he is excellent. So, they've just got too much, I think. And they, they walk away another win. Same argument with Cologne. I think they do the double. And then we'll just skip the formalities. And, and go for the double against Madrid as well. Just too much talent. They're loaded. And these teams have deficiencies in some areas. They have talent, of course. But this is a brutal away game stretch. So, to go from Fire to Hamburg to Cologne. Obviously, it's all in Germany. So, it's not too bad. But... They, they come out of this looking pretty good. Roklaw next, away. Tough one. Really, really tough one. It gives them the W earlier. This is going to be in Poland. Roklaw are going to be looking to finish strong, especially if they're going to be beating the Vienna Vikings, which I think they definitely can this season. And I think, in, in my opinion, I think they're going to split these games. I think that they get the earlier win, and then Frankfurt take the loss in the rematch towards the end of the season. They look quite comfortable going into the playoffs if they successfully beat Paris in the next game. So it could be quite a, you know, quite an important two-game stretch to finish it off. But week 14, another tough one. They're at home against Paris. Paris took the W earlier in the season. They they have an easier schedule. Not by a lot. They're obviously in the same conference, in the Western Conference. But again, I feel like they could split, Nick could be sitting on the fence but Paris are just very good but I think oh this is a tough one I might even go for Paris in the double you know I do like what Paris is making over there they really do have some special talent so I think can we see it I think I'm gonna go for Frankfurt losing both games against Paris and that could be really detrimental to their Playoff run if they lose both the games to Paris in this Western Conference. That'll sit them at one, two, three, four, five losses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven wins. So five and seven in total. We will put that on our record keeper. It's going to be the record. They'll come in at the Western Conference at fifth. Of course, I'm going to be doing this. They're not going to remain at fifth given their, uh, their victories in this one, but we'll just put them in here. So they'll come in at 7-5, and five, take 5th in the Western Conference as of now. Of course, I'm going to be adding more to this and doing other installments. But what do you guys think of this season? How do you think they're going to do? It is a brutal, brutal schedule. The scheduling for them is just vile. I'm not going to lie. Someone in the front office of the um, 
the ELF definitely has some kind of vendetta against Frankfurt because boy is that a hard fucking team to to play for this year. But and then obviously with the with the bye weeks, they get two in the first five weeks, and then they got to play all of these games, and then potentially head into the playoffs facing two teams they might meet in the playoffs. So fuck. <laughs> It's going to be a tough one, but I think 7-5 and five is quite representative. They do have a lot of players, but I think the German talent in teams like Ryan is better. They beat the small teams, they lose to the bigger teams. They're going to split with the other title contenders. How would you guys feel if you're a Frankfurt Galaxy fan going 7-5 and five this year? I think that I would be quite disappointed given the amount of investment they've made. Be quite Annoyed at the fact the Western Conference is just the best conference in the year left. Like, it's not even close. It's so competitive. But that'll do for this short kind of installment. Let me know how you found this. I would love to do this more in the future because I thought it was really fun. Graphic is cool. And I can just kind of get a lot more of my uh, my thoughts on the matchups together. So, if you made it this far, thank you very much. See you later and goodbye.